Oh, there it is. Wow. Hello, hello. ¿Qué onda, Guille? Hey, ¿Cómo estamos, teacher? ¿Cómo estamos? Ay, mira, me asusté. Yo dije, no me encendió el video. Give me <laughs> water. That's all we need, man. I've been having problems with the internet. Now problems with video. Oh, no. You, you, you came back to life. I came back to life, man. Oh, my goodness. That was a close one. Never mind. Roberto Tocayo. That's good that it is working now. Hello. That is correct, Guille. That is correct. Good evening, teacher. Everyone. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Melissa, hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. We're going to wait a little bit, see how everything turns out. Who turns out? Because it is hola, Karen. Hello. Because today is Tuesday, day number two, week number three. I, I believe they send a what's up, uh, giving you guys a heads up because the module finishes next week, I believe on the February 18th. Let me see. Let's bring it up. February 18th, I think it is. Let me see how it's looking. Yeah. And then we go 19, 20, 21. And then on the 22nd, I believe we start the new module. Oh my God, it's so fast and it's here. Yeah, that's good, I think. Time flies. Here, let me check. Let's see, let's wait a little bit. How are you guys doing with the platform? A ver, comencemos con esa. My favorite question. Very good. But I haven't finished the, uh, the section three um, yet. But I hope to finish the section three today, later, when oh. we finish classes. All right, all right, we, we can do that. Hey, Guy, you, you were telling me that you had issues with uh, the passive voice. Was that, was that you? With the, with the passive voice? Yeah. Voice, I mean. Mm, Wait, wasn't you? Remember how, Maybe it was yeah, Mario. I don't remember. No, I asked, I asked you about uh, the present perfect. Present perfect, okay, no, but that one, I think it was a section in the midterm that talks about passive. All right, maybe maybe we'll wait for everybody to come in. Paco, hello, welcome Paco. Nasty, hello. Welcome Glenda. Good evening teacher, how are you? Good evening. I am doing a OK. OK. Thank you for asking. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello. We're giving, uh, let me see. Usually Ivan usually always comes in. Hello, Carla. Welcome. 
Hopefully we can make it. Let me see here. Good evening, good evening. We're giving a little bit of time for everybody to join. I am ready. Nice, nice. I like that. <laughs> Always ready, Glenda. Always ready. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Hey. Okay, we wanted to do, let me see. Let me see. Who do we have? Okay, so we have Guille, Melissa, Roberto, Paco, Karen, Nesty, Glenda, y Carla. Okay, hoping, there we go, there we go, Diana. Hello, Diana, welcome, good evening. Hopefully we get, all right, hopefully we have somebody else. Let's see who do we have. I believe we covered the models, right? We were talking about must, may, might, could, couldn't. Do you guys remember that? Let me see if I can find it here. Just trying to see if maybe we could do a quick exercise. Yeah, there was a little bit of that passive voice. Let me see, section two. All right, we're gonna we're we're going to start. Um, I was waiting to see if maybe we had. Uh, other people join, but I think they might be joining in a little bit later. Um, what I wanted to do to start, I wanted to talk about maybe just, you know, like a quick little conversation, but I, I wanted to change it up a little bit. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to discuss um, you know, a, an introduction. You know how we start off the class and I ask you guys how you're doing and then I'm kind of just follow up with that conversation. How was your day? And then, you know, for whatever reason you say it was good or bad, then, you know, we kind of followed it up with a little bit more. Now, that's basic conversation structure, right? That's that's usually how it starts off and that's usually how it's it's supposed to, you know, kind of progress through a conversation. And so what I wanted us to do was have a little bit of practice. Um, and so I, I, I wanted to have maybe a little bit more so that I can split you guys up in a break room and then have, the, have you guys talk with another person. And I really wanted to include uh, Mario and Ivan. So let me let me see where. Now, besides that, I wanted to talk to you guys about some of the exercises that we had been doing by using a the live worksheets. And so I really wanted to do the break rooms, and I also wanted to do the live worksheets. And I'm thinking that we might have to do the live worksheet first as a group and then that way we give you know anybody else who's joining a little bit more time so that they can come in and then that way you know uh, they can participate in the breakout room so hopefully hopefully that works out um i th i believe the last thing we were looking at was uh well we saw relative clauses I wanted to show you guys relative classes. We did the knowledge check. 
Um, the reading exercise, which is 3.11, I escalated because it's wrong. Uh, let me see. Uh, no, was it 3.11? Let me see. I believe, no, 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 3.11 was good. I believe it, it's another one called 2.11, and then there was another one that was that was also messed up. So hopefully we can get those fixed. All right, we started off in, let's see, there's the listen exercises. I wanted to, let me see. How many of you guys have gotten all the way to the midterm already? Anyone in the midterm? Ivan, Ivan is in the midterm, okay. How many of you guys are in section two? Section two. All right, section two. Okay. All right, all right. And how many guys are starting or how many guys have completed section two? Me. Got it finished, okay. Section two is complete. And let me see, let me see, Ivan. Good to have you on board, Ivan. Let me see how many we have. I think we're I think we're set. All right, that's that's almost the end, Paco. All right, well done, well done. Um, let me see here. All right, so this is what I wanted us to do. I think now we are. Estamos, estamos en parcitos. I think we are even. Uh, Ivan joined in. Ivan, can you hear me okay? Yeah, all right. Can everybody hear me all right? Can everybody hear me okay? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. So this is what I want us to do. I want us to start a conversation and it's an introduction. I don't think you guys have introduced it to each other. Introduction. And so this is going to be an introduction one on one, we're going to call it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Ivan. Don't worry. We got it. Introduction one on one. And so what I want to see you guys introduce is your name. I want to hear a little bit about your job. And when I say your job, you know, it's a quick introduction into what you do. If you don't have a job, you can talk about your last job and what you did there. What you did there. I want you guys to talk about things that you like, like in this particular case, I want you guys to talk about what music you like and what music you don't like. Don't like. So, so far, quick introduction. Use your name, your job or your last job that you had music and favorite food. Now, as an extra, you guys can talk about either your age or you can talk about a hobby. Now, you don't have to, you don't have to, sorry, I spelled out hobby wrong. You don't have to talk about your age and you don't have to talk about your hobby unless you really want to share. So how should it go? For example, if I'm having a conversation with somebody, right? I'm gonna start off with, hi, how are you doing? Um, my name is Roberto Martinez, right? Uh, you can sound it out as, as, as American as you like. My name is Robert, my name is Roberto, my name is Roberto Martinez. Um, currently, I am a teacher with corporate English and in Saforp. My favorite music is all music. I love all music and there is no music that I hate. 
I, I like everything, including reggaeton, quebradita, norteña, banda. I, I, I like it all. <laughs> Rancheras. Rancheras. I, I, everything I, I like. My favorite food is <laughs> pupusas. Of course, you guys knew that, right? Pupusas and pizza and burritos and tacos, right? So I'm going to say Mexican and Salvadorian food are my, my, my favorite. Um, in terms of age, I am 25 years old. And my hobbies, I don't know if I, don't know if I ever told you guys my hobby, but I, I, I have little cactus plants that I grow. So I-, I would, do, you, do you have 25 years old? Oh, no, Mario, no. Years? No, I was, I, was, <laughs> I, was 25 years, I was 25 years old about 16 years ago. <laughs> okay. ¿Cómo, cómo es, Mario? Y la matemática va, y la matemática. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I don't think I look, do I look, do you guys think that I look 40 years old? I thought you, you were 40. Maybe you are. You, like I did a, look 40? Okay. All right. 35, 38, like that. Uh, thank you very much, Mario. Mario, thank you very much. El, el que dijo 40, ya me la va a pagar en, la, en, la, en, la, va, en el recording. <laughs> en la nota. Ya en la nota, ya me la va a pagar. 91. Right? Oh, my goodness. All right, so. <laughs> no, joke. <laughs> yeah, it's the beard. It has to do with the beard. <laughs> oh, no. uh, all right, and, and that's pretty much it, right? And then. What we're going to do is you stop, and if you have any questions, you can ask a question. Like, for example, how long have you been growing your beard, right? Some people ask, some people, and so I've been growing my beard for one year, one year, and, and I really want it to grow out like a lot. Puro revolucionario, hasta sí, pero la gran barba. Entonces, um, but it, it, I'm having a really hard time with it, right? Por veces ya no aguanto y cuando, cuando tomo café, I really, really dislike the beard in mm -hmm. those cases. Pica, teacher. No. But, 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 solo cuando, only when it's growing, but when it's already like this, it doesn't itch anymore. It is no longer, like, it, it just feels really good though when you go like this. Mm. Mm. Como que estoy pensando, but I'm not really thinking. I'm just, mm, mm. all right. So for this exercise, I, I think that now we're going to be a little bit uneven. So I'm going to join in with one of you guys. Uh, you won't be able to see how the breakout room is split because Zoom does it automatically. And remember, we're going to take turns. One person does it first, and then another person will take over. And, and then you guys are going to be switching like that, back and forth, right? The idea is for each of us to go once with all the information that we have. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Where is it? I had to. There it is. Okay. So please, let me see. I want to assign automatically. Oh, I have. Okay. I have five rooms and we have two participants per room. Let me see, let me see how that works. And let me see, okay, so we're almost there. Can you guys see my screen and how the rooms are being shown or no? You guys can't see that. I think we're set, I think everybody's, I think everybody's here. Okay, we're gonna go into the break, we're gonna go into the breakout rooms and then I'm going to visit you guys there for a little bit, okay? Give me one second here. Mario, welcome. Welcome, welcome aboard, Mario. Hello, hello. hello. Here we go, guys. Nice to, nice to meet you, teacher. Hey, nice <laughs> to meet you too, Mario. Hey, uh, we're going to go into breakout rooms, so hang tight. If, if you feel that we disappear, don't go anywhere. We're going to come back into individual rooms, okay? Okay, teacher. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Did it, what happened? Did you guys get an invitation? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Do it, do it, there we go. You guys should have gotten an invitation, accept the invitation.
<laughs> well, the thing is that I was supposed to see each of the rooms. Ah, there it is. Ya, ya lo encontré. Okay. Uh, I what like the... What about your last job? My, my, my last job is... Um, was? was? Ah, I, I was a vendedor of sewing. Seller? Seller. Seller. Okay. In a... We all of the people want to get. Okay, okay. I am. A, what about um, you? What do, what, what do you do in the, your free time? Um, I, I like I watch TV, uh, movies, and um, I like the it. Anyway. I do practice a lot uh, because uh -huh. I do actually have a customer from the U.S. Uh -huh. so, yes. Yeah, that's why I, I want to improve my knowledge. Because, I guess, yes. But yeah. Um, how long have you yeah. have you been learning English? Well. I have been learning since I was 10. I Because I I think it's important. <laughs> I teach it. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Y aquí yo de don metido va. Uh -huh. Cuénteme, <laughs> niña, cuénteme. Good, good. Really... <laughs> good for you guys. I already you... finished the, the exercise. <laughs> you guys, you guys, okay. Have you guys uh, switched places or um, has it been one and one? Uh, I, one I don't know one switch. It has oh, been. Yes. Okay. Okay, and and you guys are, are complete. You guys oh, asked yeah. all the questions already. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, um, give me give me a couple more seconds, and then I'll bring everybody back in. Okay. 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 Con, por favor, continúen. Can you, yes, can you, right. Hola. Yes, we can hear you, teacher. Hey, sorry about that. And it froze on your screen, and I'm sorry to interrupt. How's it going? How's it going, Melissa? How's it going, Guille? Fine. We're, we're doing we're we're doing well. You guys are doing well. Okay. All right. Um, we're gonna we're gonna come out of the break rooms pretty soon. Are you guys done? Did you guys complete it? The exercise. No, no, not, not yet. yet. <laughs> okay, okay. It's, um, no. it's time for for Melissa to ask me uh, okay. the questions. Okay, okay, nice. Questions. How about I give you an extra two minutes? It could well, be. That... It could be great for asking. Yeah. All right, nice, nice. Okay, good job, guys. Way to go. Let okay, me. Okay, thank you, teacher. Let me get out of here. Come <laughs> vaya se teacher. Uh, no, don't worry. <laughs> a ver, let me see how. Uh, okay, Melissa. Uh, uh, what's your name?
Hello, teacher. I came back. Nice, nice. Nice. It's always nice. We're waiting for a couple more. We're waiting. We're waiting. They're coming. They're coming. Okay. Fifteen seconds, fifteen seconds. And I believe that's it. Let's see if everybody's back. Yeah. All right. All right. So tell me, what did you think about the breakout room? Really easy, right? Yeah, that was pretty easy. OK. Really easy, but we haven't done it before. This was our first time. So even though it was really easy, I know that sometimes when it's too easy, Right. We also kind of feel like, uh, I don't know, a little bit nervous. Who felt a little bit nervous still? A little bit. Right. It, it feel I don't know what it is, but it, you kind of like feel even though you, you have seen us, you know, it still kind of feels like, oh, my God. Right. A little bit nervous. All right. So that's good. That's good. For so, me, teacher, is no the problem that I don't feel nervous. The okay. problem that I have is that I don't have any vocabulary to practice or to and um, talk to, with somebody. That is my problem, the vocabulary that I have. Nice. Okay, Mario. So this is what we're going to do. You came in at the right time in the correct year. What we're doing this week is these exercises. Um, we're going to evolve these exercises a little bit more because you're going to have me as a judge in some of them. And so I'm going to observe you guys talk. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to demetido, right? I'm going to butt in and I'm going to tell you, you should say this word or this word should be pronounced this way, or the best way to do it is this way. And so I will act as a judge. Please keep in mind that it is not to judge you or to judge your English, but only to help you get better with these conversations. Now, for vocabulary, Mario, también, we all are also introducing this week a little bit more vocabulary and a little bit more practice. So hopefully, you know, you can take some of that, some of that and you can start implementing it right away. So good, good, everybody, good, everybody. Okay. I want to discuss a little bit of the platform because, well, you know, we want to, right? We need to check, see how we're doing. Hey, that's another good one. Ivan, uh, Mario, another thing that can help you with book, with, with vocabulary is books. So try to get your hand on a book and, you know, kind of go through it real quick. That also helps out a lot. Good, 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 good. All right. So let's go and let me go ahead and share my screen with you guys. And we have our website. Okay. Where did we leave off? Do you guys remember? What was the last thing that we were able to cover? We did this one already, awful, dreadful. So we're gonna move from three. Really, we were already this, how did you like it? I think that we are missing with the 3.11. 3.11, yeah, because look, we already did most of this stuff. Oh, the relative clauses are here, uh, which was who, that's what I wanted. Okay, so let's, okay, so now that we're here, let's go into the life 
worksheet. How many of you guys have done the live worksheets on your own? On your own y a lo loco, lo que caiga y lo que se vea. Mm -hmm. We're gonna use relative clauses. And this is the one that we did. We did a little bit of this one, right? And I believe in the WhatsApp, one of our one of our colleagues, a classmate, completed it, got it 100% right, and she sent it, he or she sent it to the group. So denle un vistazo, denle un vistazo, because the same worksheet that we did together, we had it right there, okay? All right, so let me go ahead and expand this one a little bit. And so there's a lot of worksheets that we can do. Let me use this one here since it has a lot of colors and I like a lot of colors. And so this one shows when we can use relative pronouns, but it expands a little bit more because now we have who, we have which, we have whose, we have that, we have where, and we have when. So now this is actually the complete version of relative clauses, okay? Teacher. Yes, Guille. Excuse me. Um, for example, if I use a which or that, uh, I think that there's no problem if one day, uh, whatever, whenever I use which or that, it can be, can be good. You can use which or, th or that in, in, and now, so if you want to look at a little bit more in depth, right, you can use which or you can use that for objects or animals, or animals right? However, they they ask for something a little bit more sometimes. So for example, for example, you see how which can be used for animals or objects. You guys see yes, how it, right. it, it kind of changes a little bit. So remember how we were talking about which and in and in a previous one it said you can use which for people or objects. Mm -hmm. And it would be okay, it's no problem. That's the same for that. That's that right. is correct. It's the same thing for both. However, if you ask some people, then you could use which for animals and objects, and that would be the correct way of using which. However, you can use it for people. And this goes back to, you know how, you know how we were talking about English has a lot of rules? Mm -hmm. There's a rule, and then there comes another rule that kind of, you know, kind of knocks it down, and it says, oh, don't worry about that rule. We're going to implement it in this way. So it all has to do with what you are trying to say and how you are trying to say it. Now, the rule is still the same. It still applies. You can use which, and you can use that for both people, right, and things, in this case, animals. And that's still okay to do. However, if you look a little bit deeper into that rule, you're gonna find out that in some cases, they're gonna tell you to use which when you're referring to animals or objects, but not really people. So it could get a little bit confusing at times. However, I want you guys to know that it can be used. You can use which for people, right? So, in this particular case, we have all of the WH relative clauses, right? And that, of course. Who, which, whose, that. And then we left off two that we hadn't covered. And those two are where for places and when, when you guys want to use a time reference. Okay. Are we set with that? The arena where they performed was excellent. And then so we use the word where. 
that was the day when Ed Sheeran started the tour. When was used. Okay. Specific time, specific dates. You can use days, you can use months, you can use years, right? Okay. So with that, we start the live worksheets. Now here, it just tells you that there is all of these relative pronouns that we can use. So let me try to make it a little bit smaller so that we can use it. Let me see. And I know it's going to get a little bit hard for you guys, but I want to I want to I want to make sure that I cover and you guys are able to see for at least the first two. Let me see here. I think that's okay. Can you guys see okay? I mean, you, you're going to have to squint a little bit, but but I believe that you guys can see it. Okay. So here we do the same exercise. We're filling in the gaps. He is the singer. Blank won three Grammys last year. Can we use when for this particular? He is the singer when won three Grammys last year? Nope. No, we can't, right? We can't. Okay. Let's go ahead and erase that. He is the singer where won three Grammys last year? How does that sound? No, no, it doesn't sound good. Okay. Now we are left off with who, which, whose, and that. He is the singer. What do you guys think we should use? Who? Who? He is the singer who won three Grammys last year. It is used to refer to people. And the example, the man who works at the theater is very kind. So in this case, he is the singer that won three Grammys last year. Okay, who? Can we say that? He is the singer that won three Grammys last year? Mm, let me see. Yes, we can do it. We can. The blue jacket that she is putting on belongs to her. Hmm. Makes me wonder. Now, who sounds nice? He is the singer who won three Grammys last year. He is the singer that won three Grammys last year. You know, that one's pretty close. We'll leave who, and then in case it comes out wrong, we'll try again with that. Because we cannot use whose, and we cannot use which. All right, the next one. Number two, she's the supermodel. Blank, face appeared in the last music video. She's the supermodel. Whose who's, who's face, right? There is a face and somebody's the owner of that face. And I'm thinking that it's this supermodel. All right, all right. She's the supermodel, that face, no. She's that supermodel who face no no but see who sounds really nice okay let's try number three that was the year blank robbie williams clip was banned on tv what do we use when it's a year a month a day a specific time when when do you guys remember who Robbie Williams is? Yeah. Hey, DJ, se quita la skin. That was, yeah, that, I think that's the one that got banned. Okay, all right. 
Here we go. Here we go. Let's try with these three and see how we go. Let's see how we're doing. There's a lot more. You guys see that? And uh, yeah, well done, guys. Well done. All right. Okay. So uh, these are some of the live worksheets. What do you do or what can you do to use them? All you have to do is punch in liveworksheets.com. And then you guys are going to be able to see a, a little search here. So on the search, you guys can put whatever you guys want. For example, nouns or noun. And you search for it and look at that. And now you have a worksheet to help you out with your nouns. Okay. I really like to use this. And you guys are going to see as we move along through week number three and four, we're going to incorporate it as much as we can and as much as possible. All right. Okay. Let's go back to, let's go back to our work environment. And we already saw that. We did the knowledge check 310. We completed that. And I believe we were in the magic pot the, the magic of potter and there was an article in this one now we've been having issues with the articles not matching the questions i think we saw it on 2.11 which was a really a really you know really big bummer there uh let me see let me see if it matches up she hated going to school but always loved to read um Well, I think this one does match. Yeah. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask you guys to help me with the reading. You guys can read it on your own. And then we'll come back and do the exercise together. So here you go. You guys have, let me see. You guys have two minutes to read through the article and we'll come back to it. All right, everybody. Is everybody good? Okay. I'm closing the I'm closing it down. And we go back. Hmm. All right. I think it does, you know, I think it. Hmm. Let's see. 
Number one, she hated going to school, but always loved to read. What paragraph do you find that in? Paragraph one, two, three, four, five, or six? The, Does it say that in the in the in the story? No. <laughs> All right, let's hold off on let's hold off on the first one. Mm. When asked about this popularity, she said, "I really wrote it for myself." Do we see that on the story? I'm missing. No. I'm, I don't see. <laughs> I don't see it either. She doesn't say anything about that. Okay. There were times when she couldn't even afford to eat. Ah. Uh, you know, she says they say that she was broke. Yes. But it doesn't say that she wasn't eating. Hmm. You know, let me see, let me see if. Okay, I'm, I, I, I want to apologize. I think we should have read the instructions first. So we have the article, which is right on, spot on. And what you have to do is you have to read the sentence. And then they give you an idea of a sentence. She hated going to school, but always loved to read. Now, in, where? In paragraph, in paragraph number two, teacher. So we can stick number one in paragraph two, because in paragraph two, it says J.K. Rowling was born in England from a young age. She knew she wanted to be a writer. At school, she used to make up stories to tell her friends. So she hate, we could put it there. She hated going to school, but always loved to read. All right, all right, I like that. It makes sense. All right, let's try number two. Mm -hmm. When asked about this popularity, she said, I really wrote it for myself. Where can we put that? Where would you be able to stick it in? Maybe can be paragraph number one, teacher. Paragraph number one, there was a time. Okay. Maybe, yeah, I'll tell you why. Well, because here she's kind of telling the story of why she wrote it. All right, I, I like it, I like it. If we get it wrong, don't worry about it. I think that we both would have been wrong on this one, okay. How about number three? There were times when she couldn't even afford to eat. I think we did this one. I think this one was five, because she was so broke. What do you guys think? Number four. Number four, let me see. She yeah. kept working on story while she was teaching English in Portugal. She had a first kid. She was divorced. When she returned to English, she brought back a suitcase and broke. You know? All right, let's try it there. All right, hold it right there. Hold it right there. All right, we still can't check. Okay, let's try number four. Despite her fame and fortune, she's been able to keep her private life. Maybe can be number six. Teacher. Number six. Rawlings life. Yeah, because she's talking about how she now she earns $40 million a year. Imagine. Oh, my goodness. Yo compraría todo a popa. All right. Number five. She didn't have a pen or paper with her, so she had to memorize it. Number three. Number three. 
after graduating, but she didn't. Okay, all right, all right. That makes sense. Mm. That makes sense. Number mm. three. And number six, it was filled with 10 versions of the first chapter of the book. And for me, that is number four. And the number three is going to be number five. Number four. And then, so this one is number five. No, no, right. no, 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 no. And the third one is going so to gonna... be paragraph number number five. All right. Yeah. And, and the then number five is going to be paragraph number three. Three. And then four is the last one. Yeah, right. Yeah. All right, let's try it. Let's go, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, we got it. Well done. Well done. That's it. That was a little bit confusing, and I think that's you know that's that's on me. It's a, All right. about a comprehension teacher. I that think. is it. <laughs> yeah, that that's exactly what it is. So what happens is you're supposed to read this and say where would that go? Where does it fit the best in this story? So well done, well done, well done, guys. Okay, uh, we leave it there. Hopefully, you guys were able to look at it. You guys were able to take a picture, ma'am, for the team. And then tomorrow we're going to be reviewing the midterm. So we're going to split the class into two. Hopefully we can do a quick conversation exercise and then do the midterm or do the midterm and then the exercise. Okay. All right. I'm going to give you guys some minutes back. Have a wonderful night. Really happy to see you guys today. Hopefully we see you tomorrow. Have Teacher. a wonderful night. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, can you send me the the class of the about the passive voice, please? Okay. You know what? I didn't I didn't receive it. Mario, oh my goodness, I was I was asking about that. Mario, look, I was gonna show you this. I had this for you. I had a how to make how to make an exercise. So I'll tell you what, I'll send that. And I kept asking myself, who sent me this dot? And now I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got you, Mario. I told you. I told you that I'm going to send a dot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to send you, Mario, I'm going to send you the video and I'm going to send you the link, okay? I got okay, you teacher. now. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have Thanks. a good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care. Good night. Good night.